Hello everyone, this is the Lion Ben C and welcome back to Vampire Survivors. We have one more card to get right here. We gotta get level 50 with Poe. Oops, went too far. So and we're gonna try at the same time to finish up the milk elementals to get that unlocked. So let's go over here to Poe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Already in the dairy plant. We need the healing thing with him. Oh, just to show you what we just unlocked. Uh, list of weapons, projectiles explode on impact. Light sources explode. And you explode when you get damage. And we're going after this one right here. hoping I was going to have another Arca run. I forgot to look up to see if there was a place that had um, that will cause milk elementals to show up. I have to look that up. We'll just go for the most tried and true build that I know to get.
Okay, so now all we're waiting on is time. Here we go. That's the, uh, that's two of the items I need. Holy wand. Nice fiver. So I grabbed two of the items that the cherry bomb and the, the other thing that I need to use for the collection. So the only thing I'd be missing is the guy we have to unlock. Requiem causes things to explode. I didn't grab either one of those. Yeah, we'll get up to the three bounces.
Only five more levels to go. the area of the attack but this will get the uh, There is an item we'll unlock later that requires the uh, box, the, the yellow box that I've been using, uh, to be fully powered up. Yeah, this... Furniture is being dropped from that egg looking thing. Uh, chance to freeze. No, we're definitely going to do Iron Blue Will. down to the next uh It's so funny once you've played this game for a while and you start to see uh how much better your character is because when you start this off it is so I mean, you guys watch this. This is uh, episode, you know, 56. You can go back and look at my earlier episodes where it was so much harder to get certain things done.
and now you know I'm regularly going the full 30 minutes It just shows you how much, how important those uh, power-ups are early on, and just learning how things get put together. I mean, right now I could literally do this. and make this the, the end of this fight as just standing here. Hell, if I really wanted to, I could leave, just quit out. But you have to actually go all the way to getting the... Uh, death to hit you to get the checker mark. Oh, there's a boss. That's why that happened. Hello. I mean, and this is using two weapons that don't have any uh, um, power-ups. I'm just hoping that I've, I've done enough to get the uh, so I don't have to worry about the um, Nope, I only got the thing needed for Poe. I unlocked the last card. Yeah, I'm going to have to do at least one more. But if we go into collection, that's the only thing I'm missing. To finish out this run, I only need to do that. So, tomorrow, we're going to grab one of these guys. Probably him, because I got to get him up to level 80 anyway to unlock, because there's an unlock at level 80 for him. Right there. So close. But yeah, so that's going to be tomorrow. We'll finally unlock that character, and that should finally unlock, and then once we use him one time in a battle, that should finally unlock Queen Sigma. right there that's who we're trying to get and considering how many re-rolls and banishing she is the easiest person to do the banish 40 items in a single run then we'll start trying to get these things that we need to get 
But yeah, we got so many things to unlock. Start doing the inverted towers afterwards. But there you go. Everything set up and now we're just one more level. That's all we need. So tomorrow, that's what we'll do. And I will see you all then.